Hey everyone! Mm, my muscles always feel so good after a low impact workout. I can't wait to tell you all about it. In today's lesson, we will learn about the benefits of a low impact workout, examine three types of low impact workouts, and finally share some tips for preparing to get the most out of a low impact workout. Let's get moving! The second exercise style for your final project is a low impact workout. What is a low impact workout? In our last lesson, we learned that impact refers to the force placed on your body during exercise. That force can come in the form of your feet hitting the ground, your muscles being strained, or your body being jolted in any way. Low impact exercise means you are minimizing the force placed on your joints and bones. Low impact workouts are gentle on the body. This can look like smaller amounts of weight being lifted, exercises that involve fluid body motions, such as leisurely bike riding or swimming. Any workouts with large jolts on the body, like running and jumping, are excluded. For instance, notice in a workout such as running, the heels strike the ground with force after each stride. That force can be very strenuous over time. Running is a high-impact exercise. Now compare that to working out on an elliptical. Notice that the woman's feet stay planted the entire time and her motions are fluid. There is no large force jolting her muscles. This is a low impact exercise. Being low impact does not mean low effectiveness. Low impact exercise provides many of the same health and fitness benefits of more physically demanding high impact exercise. It just applies less overall force on your body. There are a ton of benefits to choosing a low impact exercise, including most of the same cardiovascular and muscular benefits we learned about in our lesson on high intensity workouts. So why might you prefer a low impact exercise over other types of exercise? One benefit unique to low impact workouts is their sheer accessibility. Low impact exercises can be adapted to suit all levels of fitness, making them suitable for a wide range of people, whether you're new to working out or a lifelong athlete. Because low impact workouts are gentle on your joints and muscles, they're also great for anyone recovering from an injury or suffering from joint issues. Another benefit of low impact workouts is their adaptability to meet most fitness goals. Low impact workouts can be completed at any level of intensity from low to high, so you can adapt them to meet any of your unique needs. One of the biggest benefits of low impact exercise is its low overall risk of causing injury in comparison to high impact workouts. Now that you know that low impact exercise is accessible to most people, adaptable to unique fitness goals, and comes with a low risk of injury, I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that low impact exercise can also be done anywhere, anytime. While some low impact workouts require special equipment like swimming or biking, Many require only your body weight, three of which we are going to talk about today. As you know, part of your final project includes completing a low impact workout. Today we are going to talk about three workouts that don't require any special equipment for you to give them a try. Each type of workout we'll talk about today commonly has classes in local gyms and recreation centers. You can also explore these workouts with free online resources and videos. The first low impact workout we'll talk about today is yoga. Yoga is an ancient practice from India that involves physical poses, concentration, and deep breathing. Yoga is tied to spiritual practices in India, but in the US, it is more commonly used as a stretching and relaxation technique. During a yoga workout, you will move your body through a series of poses, which develop your balance, flexibility, and core strength. Like most low impact workouts, yoga can be done at a range of intensities, from a gentler yoga routine focused on stretching to a more intense workout requiring larger amounts of strength and discipline. 
Yoga also provides the benefit of being easily modifiable to fit any practitioner's unique needs. Many yoga poses have modifications that make them easier or more challenging. For example, you can modify a plank pose by bending your elbows or by lifting one leg to make the pose more challenging. Yoga props, such as blocks, straps, blankets, and bolsters can be used to modify poses to make them more accessible. For example, using blocks under your hands in a standing forward bend can make the pose more accessible for people with tight hamstrings. Anything you have at home, from pillows to books, can help you to modify the depth of a pose as needed. The slow, intentional nature of yoga means it can also provide additional mental health benefits. The next low impact workout we'll talk about today is Pilates. Pilates is a system of repetitive exercises using body weight. The focus of Pilates exercises is on engaging and strengthening the core muscles through movements like leg extensions, bird dogs, and abdominal roll-ups. Like yoga, the goal of Pilates is to improve strength, flexibility, and balance. Pilates exercises can be easily modified so people of all abilities are able to access the workout's many benefits. Yoga is a lot like Pilates, although there are a few differences between the two. While yoga focuses on uniting the mind and the body, Pilates focuses on strengthening the core muscles and improving posture and alignment. While both include movements that build strength, flexibility, and balance, they tend to focus on different types of movements. Yoga poses are often more dynamic and involve a wider range of motion, while Pilates exercises tend to be more controlled and precise. The last type of low impact exercise we're going to talk about today is also the newest. It's called bar. Bar is a workout developed around moves from classical ballet in conjunction with elements from yoga and Pilates. It involves small targeted movements and muscle groups used to stabilize the body. Exercises with low weight and high repetition are intended to develop muscular endurance as well as balance and flexibility. Bar does commonly use outside equipment, such as hand weights or resistance bands, but if you don't have access to that equipment, it's okay. Bar can be done with only your body weight and a bar, or some other kind of surface to stabilize you, like a chair or a counter. There are so many more low impact workouts than just what we talked about today. Regardless of which you choose, I have some tips I'd like to share with you before you start working out. In order to get the most benefit out of your workout, it's important to properly prepare. To help you do that, here are some tips for preparing for low impact exercise. My first tip is to make sure you warm up. Start with a five to 10 minute warm up to get your heart rate up and loosen your muscles. This can include light cardio, such as walking or some dynamic stretching. Number two, wear comfortable clothing. Make sure to put on comfortable and breathable clothing that will not restrict your movement during the workout. Avoid clothes that are too loose or too tight. My third tip is to hydrate. Always drink plenty of water before, during, and after your workout to stay hydrated, maintain optimal performance, and speed up your recovery. Next, choose the right surface for your workout. Consider the surface you will be working out on. A soft surface like a mat or carpet will be more gentle on your joints than a hard surface like concrete or tile. Ensure there's no danger of you or your surface slipping, which could lead to injury. Number five, focus on form. Good form is essential for a safe and effective workout, so pay close attention to technique, especially during low impact exercises. Next, cool down and stretch. After your workout, don't forget to spend five to 10 minutes cooling down with light cardio and stretching to help your body recover. Even something like a two minute walk will be beneficial and serve as an active recovery. Finally, and most importantly, listen to your body. Low impact workouts can still be demanding, so it's important to listen to your body and adjust the intensity or stop if you feel discomfort or pain. Whew. I'm going to go do my cool down after all of those awesome workouts. Next time, we're going to learn about the last type of workout for your final project, outdoor and recreational workouts. At any heart rate, I'll see you 
next time. Bye! Hey, hey.